Well, hello, and welcome back to our channel. Brad, is this little, there he is, little, little thing in the corner. Hi. We are ready to do our roof. We had a little break, a little rest after we did the plaster, but we are ready to go because we want to get the roof, like the ceiling done by the end of this weekend. So tonight we're gonna to do the strapping. We're gonna work as a team, the dream team. I'm gonna measure out the strapping lengths uh, as per the size of the room, and Brad is gonna staple them up so that it holds our insulation in place. And once all that is done, we can then get the lining board on. We have our materials ready to go. We're, we're ready, are we ready, Brad? Finally out to two week rest, back at it. Let's get started. in the back. Brady say hi. Hi. Okay so it is hot. It is like 35 degrees today and um, boy do you feel it. Uh, we chose today to do the ceilings which is just unfortunate timing because our tin roof is boiling hot. This morning I was out Brad got the insulation in. That was a fun job Brad. Yep. Four showers later. <laughs> no more itching. But it is done, so hopefully it means our work in the front will go a bit more smoothly with it not being so hot. Mm, big help. In the front, yep. Yeah, because uh, that tin roof, she heats up. <laughs> she heats up and you wouldn't believe it. So we're a bit sluggish today just because it is just so hot. But we did go and get our chandelier. We did, we did. Big tick. Our front chandelier. It was in our brain. Actually, luckily we went and got it. It was in our brain for ages. We um, went and saw this one in a showroom. We loved it and then we just didn't go back for like four months four months <laughs> and um, it was only one of them left so we we're very lucky that we could get that I'm a bit concerned it's a bit small but we'll cross that bridge later when I got Chai's haircut and now we're back at it so we're gonna see how much we can get done in the heat essentially that's it slow moving but we'll see how we go yeah let's get to it <laughs> All right, so for the lining board ceiling install, we're not gonna use framing guns or anything like that. Um, use the fixing gun, but because we're doing such a massive square meterage and we're gonna be firing like a few thousand nails, we're gonna be using an air compressor um, and what's also a bradder. Yay! <laughs> so, with Brad using a bradder, shooting brads. Um, <laughs> this is a nice small gun which takes uh, a decent sized pin if you wanted to fire one. I'm going to use some nice small 25mm nails because we've only got a 12mm board so we don't need a big nail. Uh, but these are fantastic, they're super lightweight and hooked up to a nice little small machine with a small tank. Means that it's super easy to lug around, um, quick and easy to set up but it also means that we can cover a lot of wide area um, without having to change gas and run huge big long leads. I can use all the small stuff for this so um, this should be a lot quicker and a lot easier to use. It's literally going to change the look of this room. I cannot wait. So exciting. So this is our trial one. Brad and I are going to work as a team, dream team. Brad's going to install them in the roof and I'm going to cut them to size. Uh, we're going to use this as a trial to see if we've got the right size. Today doing this, we won't forget this one. It's reminding me how much I don't like saunas. Oh my god. I mean, I love a sauna, but no thank you to this. My breasts are sweating profusely. My turn. 
we are taking a break. I can't even tell you. I don't have words, Brad. If he's dripping sweat off his nose. It is so hot up in that mm, roof like, cavity. It's like 20 degrees hotter than it is down here. And it's and like- he is hot. <laughs> 35 degrees here. Um, if I had a word, treacherous. Tre treacherous. <laughs> It was sweat <laughs> Do you have a word? Uh, diabolical mm. is what this installation is. Um, the, tries chasing bugs. Uh, this lining board, because we're installing full lengths, which is really great because we don't have any joins. It's a 5.2 meter long living room and we're doing it all in a full long, long board, which is really cool. So but we've done these four. It means that... <laughs> We have to try and hold up a little tiny groove and it's sagging in between all the joists. So between the two of us up there in the heat. Like hands above head for five minutes at a time trying to... While we try to fit the board into the, the board. groove, but it doesn't want to go in because a little bit pops out. It's got to be really straight. So a very tricky installation indeed, but we're slowly making slowly. our way down. If to I the stand here, heights. you can see what our roof will look like eventually. Oh, Brad. I'm done. Okay. It is a new day and we are back at it. Uh, we've just come from an event. I don't usually wear this amount of uh, makeup to renovate. Uh, so Brad is in the middle of making a contraption. Uh, so a jig. A jig. Because we need to think smart. We need to think smarter rather than working harder, don't we Brad? That's exactly right. So essentially, aside from the heat, which thank goodness is not as hot today, aside from the heat, it was so hard for just the two of us to get the boards up because the boards are so long and so bendy. And even when like I'm on top of the ladder or the scaffolding with my arms outstretched and on my tippy toes, I can like only just hold the end up. And because we have to like click them into place, we're finding that we need something to hold the end in place mm. so we can knock it in. We essentially need another pair of hands without getting another pair of hands. I give you a wooden pair of hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's simple yet very effective. So this, we're going to screw to the far end of the building that we can't actually reach because the two of us can only spread out so far across the room. So this is spaced perfectly for the lining board and a little bit of room for movement. And essentially we're just going to screw this up onto the other side so it's going to allow us to slide the board that we need to install on here so it doesn't want to flop down the end and it allows us to tap in the v-groove so it was getting frustrating it was getting hot sweaty and, hot. and, and your arms at the end your arms are kind of <laughs> shaking and you can't get it in <laughs> it was a time we had a time so this is our new method that's it it's still hot i'm already hot you're yeah. already sweating, I can That's see it. It's just life at the moment. That's what it's so. going to be. And the roof is slowly getting It will shorter. get slightly, slightly easier, easier as we go. That's it. So let's try and get... So we got four boards done the other day. <laughs> With our sweat. One hour. And our blood. One hour and four boards is what we managed to muster in. So we're going to see if we can smash it out a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. uh, so it starts to look like a roof. That's it. Let's go. That's the aim. <laughs> If you just want to kick that block out of the way, that'd be great. <laughs> it's a solid start. <laughs> Alright! Hi! We're back at it! Woo! <laughs> so, we have done half of the living room roof. Mm. And I think we found our momentum. Finally found a rhythm that works. Which is great! The third arm Brad built works like a dream. <laughs> um, and I think we have a bit of a process now. The process goes, I cut the length on the drop saw, pass it to Brad. Brad, 
is on the scaff. He puts one end in. I run up the ladder and hold the other end up. Brad has to fit the groove in the notchy bit. Uh-huh. And then Brad's it in, nails it in. And then I'll glue it, nails it. Yep. And then I have to run down the ladder and then Brad crawls over the scaffolding onto the ladder <laughs> and attaches the other end. Yeah. It's a process. Yeah. And then while I'm doing that, you're cutting the next piece. The next piece. So we're hopeful that once we get this room done, it's going to go a bit faster. These are our full length, really long. These are the longest and the hardest bits to do. So. Yeah. Mm. I'm ready to get into it. Oh yeah. Brad's had bangers on this morning. <laughs> yeah. Full out bangers. <laughs> so. We're ready to go. Coasting off the Christmas party of last night. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that momentum going. <laughs> The roof in the front living room. Oh my gosh. It's done. It's done. And now we're heading into the hallway. Had some lunch, so we're ready to get back into it. I'm feeling very schnoozy. Yeah, it's a beautiful day and we could just kind of nap. Just nap in the shade is what. That'd be mm. so nice. So we're just going to see if we can bang out the hallway mm. and then maybe a nap. Then a nap. Just like snuggle in. <sighs> our lining board ceiling done. It is beautiful. I love this hallway. It's so gorgeous. And I love that you can see the raked roof coming down on this angle. So beautiful. Thank you for joining us. Please do like and subscribe because we have so much more to come and it's getting exciting now. Bye.